For a lot of creators, video editing is the worst part of the content creation process because not only do you have to learn how to edit videos, but the actual process of editing is something that takes hours upon hours. And that is where Glean AI is trying to help. They are a AI video editing software designed specifically for YouTubers with some incredible features. They actually reached out to me to sponsor a video. And when I got a chance to actually try out the software, I was blown away at how simple it was to just make a video. And there's also some really cool pro features built into this that I think pro creators are gonna love as well. So let's dive into this. So to get started, all I'm gonna do is click here to add my video into Glean. And then just make sure your video is in the correct language, which for mine is English. Click continue. And then in here, it's gonna ask me how to enhance my video. So I'm gonna have it cut out silences and just cut out bad takes for now. You can always make adjustments later. Uh, and then I'm gonna click enhance and edit. And it's literally going to script out my video, figure out where the silent parts are, figure out where the, the bad takes are, and just do it all for me. All right, so it just finished. And as you can see right now, we have it showing show cuts. So it's actually showing all the mistakes I've made in this video. So uh, it said I was saying Tim, I might've been, you know, here it got right where I was saying tip, but still it knocked out all these, knew these were all mess ups and went right to this one where I actually got the line correct. So if I do turn this off, It'll just show me the words that it left. And this is how you edit in this software. You just look at the, the transcript of the video. And then if you want to remove something, you just erase it. So for example, here I have, so as long as you can focus on, and then I decided to change it to, so just focus on. Uh, so I can easily just delete that out and poof, now that is gone from my video. And just to show you how this actually cuts and what this actually sounds like, let's go to the beginning of this video and let's play it for a bit just so that way you can hear how this sounds. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing three YouTube growth tips to help you get more views and subscribers. Tip number one is to understand that the algorithm is the audience. YouTube actually says in their own- And that literally sounded great. That'd be the exact same way I would have edited it. Uh, if I do want to adjust it though, I can adjust the pace. So I want there to be a little bit more padding uh, where there's a little bit more space for me to breathe there. I could adjust this more um, or make it even a tighter adjustment where it'll really trim it down. So as soon as I stop speaking, it'll immediately cut. Uh, so you can really adjust the breathing room there for that. But yeah, we have this video ready to go. Now, there are other ways to enhance this. For example, if you want to remove noise from audio, like there's distracting background noise, I can easily turn this on and have that happen. You can also add jump cut zoom ins. So if I turn this on, we'll just give it a few seconds here. It'll actually go through the video and add them automatically. But you can also adjust where you want them to specifically happen if you don't like uh, the spots that it automatically chooses for you. So if it turned on, I can also control how far it zooms in. And I also have it checked to center it on my face, not to just zoom in down the middle, but to actually it'll recognize where my face is and do the zoom in there. Uh, so it decided to do one here. Um, and I'm gonna actually turn it off for this one. So I can easily click here and turn it off. And let's actually click play again here from the beginning and see how this zoom in looks. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing three YouTube growth tips to help you get more views and subscribers. Tip number one is to understand that the algorithm is the audience. YouTube actually says in their own- That was awesome. Like I literally didn't have to go through and edit it. I just turn on and off and I can scroll through anywhere where I wanna zoom in. I can either turn this on, I can turn it off. Uh, if I want this one off, I can just turn it off, turn it on. And I can go through all my clips and adjust whether I want there to be zoom cut ins or not. Now also inside of Enhance is the ability to add captions. So for that, let's actually go and upload a short uh, or a vertical video and add those captions in. So again, I'm just gonna drag my file in over here, then click continue. And then I'm also gonna do cut silences and bad takes again, and then we'll make more adjustments once it does that. All right, it finished editing and it totally noticed that I made a mess up here in the first line. So it knocked off that and left these two lines in. Uh, and I don't need this eye here either. So I'm just gonna highlight that and click delete um, and cut that out as well. And then I'm gonna turn off show cuts. And there we go, I've got my, my script here. And now what I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna go to enhance 
and I want smart captions on because this is a short I'm filming. So it's gonna look at the transcript here and apply captions. And so just double check, it already should do a good job of perfectly translating your captions, but just double check that it's spelled everything correctly. And then what you can also do is you can click on the caption part here, and then you can actually adjust how you want those captions on screen. So you go for basic captions. These ones kind of look like TikTok style. Uh, you could have the highlight letters if you want. And you can also uh, adjust these if you want to increase the size, if you want it to be shrunk down a bit more. And let's actually see what this looks like. Let's click play here and see what it's like. The secret to growing on YouTube is knowing your audience. Think about the problems your audience is trying to solve. Think about what interests them and make content around that. And now I have a short ready to go and I can easily export this out and save it as a video file. But this is also where it gets interesting too, is you can not only just export it out as a video, but maybe you do wanna add more to your videos. You can actually export them out as a Premiere Pro file, a Final Cut Pro file, or even a DaVinci Resolve file. And technically, if you exported this out as an MP4, you could put it into CapCut as well, and then you can add additional elements to your video. So for our long form video, I'm gonna click export and I'm gonna send it over to Premiere Pro here. So we'll export, export it out as a file here. We'll just call this glean.xml and click save. And then I can open that file with Adobe Premiere Pro. And then inside of Premiere Pro, we have the video edited as if it was edited in Premiere Pro. So it literally did all the editing for us. We can then add it to our video editing software, and then we could continue editing this. Now I can use the different graphics I have in Premiere Pro, other elements, and I just get to skip the whole part about having to edit my video. It's just all done for me because of Glean AI. So whether you want to use this as just a simple way to edit all the silent parts out and the bad takes and just have an easy video that you can upload to YouTube to start. Or if you want to use it as an assistant and have it cut out all the bad takes and add the zoom ins and things and then just add it to another editor where you can do more adjustments. It's a super handy software. Definitely something you should try out. You can actually try it out for free with the free plan. See if you like it and then always upgrade to one of the next plans. So you can give it a try with my link in the description and then comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this. Is this something useful for you? And if you want to learn more about video editing, make sure you hit that subscribe button.